Guys, this is Astronox. This is gonna be a guide on how to get Covenant bookmarks and also how to farm them. So I'm a free-to-play player and this is gonna be, of course, for mostly for free-to-play players because, yeah, we always need more Covenant bookmarks to uh, summon, summon, summon. And now that we can get Moonlight heroes out of the... Uh, out of these covenant uh, summons well yeah we want as many of them as possible so how to get them the easiest way of course you guys probably already know is if you farm your hunts you can get covenant bookmarks in the higher level ones so that's an easy one also in adventure of course you can encounter chests and also in uh, battle in the unrecorded history when you're fighting in there you know, you, you can open up chests and get them from there. In the Labyrinth, you can encounter chests there as well and get Covenant bookmarks. From the secret shop here in the lobby, you speak to the bartender and every hour you want to do this. You can find a set of five Covenant bookmarks in here. It's going to cost uh, a bit more than 180,000 gold. It's 184,000 gold, I believe. And yeah, you get yourself a set like this. If you really want to push it, you, you can refresh for five sky stones. Uh, I mean, you can do it. It's going to require a lot of gold and you might encounter some items that are upgrades for you or potentially up, potential upgrades. So if you buy them, it will cost a lot, a lot of gold. So be prepared. So that's, that's a quick way to get Covenant bookmarks. Of course, like you can just go in the shop and buy them for sky sky stones but that's not the point of this video so you can buy this set here but how to like farm them if you really want to farm them um, it's from reputation you have 30 ranks of these reputations here you go on reputation you go on memory chain and you go down reach friendship level 3 with a hero so you're getting covenant bookmarks this way and as you're as you go up in ranks because it goes up to 30, 30 is the last level, you are getting more and more Covenant bookmarks. Initially, at like rank 1, it might be like 3 Covenant bookmarks. And you go up and you get more. Next one is reach friendship level 6 with a hero. Mine is uh, 13. It gives me 10, but it's going to be like less than that or higher than that, depending on your rank. And there's reach friendship level 10 with a hero. That's 17. My rank is 8 on that. That is a lot of grinding, guys. What you should aim for is bringing your heroes to friendship level 3 and then bring them to 6. If you want some quick covenant bookmarks, like you're in a rush, you're like on your last few summons before you, you pull that, that, you join that 121 club on whatever banner uh, rate up hero you're going for, well, uh, that, that's a quick way to obtain them. And uh, it does take quite a bit of grinding to actually get all the way to that rank 30. And be done with it so yeah there's always that available to you up until you of course complete rank 30 now another way to obtain covenant bookmarks I will explain further how to uh, like increase your friendship level but first I want to talk about the unlock devotion skill grade uh, triple S with a hero how do you do that well that's memory imprints so I'm gonna go in my hero list and what you need to do is, whenever you summon, you always get 3-star heroes, right? So what you want to do is feed the same hero into one of them and bring them to triple S. That's their memory imprint. And let me let me just find a hero that I have triple S. Well, that, that's one e naught. And you can do it multiple times. That's the beautiful thing. And uh, there's quite a few players that don't actually know this. Yeah, so... Uh, Tiaria, she is triple S memory imprint. That, that's it. So to get a three-star hero to triple S, each one is going to give you... So you start D, C, B, A, S, double S, triple S. So you need seven copies. So you need like the initial one. So you need a total of eight, three-star to get to make a triple S one. And you can do it multiple times. Uh, a lot of my heroes, I'm on my second, my third, my maybe my fourth even... Uh, work on my four triple S. So keep that in mind. It's always available to you, especially after like big summoning sessions. Don't forget about that. And don't feed these three star heroes into uh, like just to power up like four star your father so you can six star a hero. 
uh, faster. Take the time, do make your heroes five and six stars the right way. Use just Phantasma and uh, start with like uh, building up fathers from uh, two star to three to four to to uh, and yeah that to five that's the way you do it and that's that's how you should do it carmen rose there's still a few uh, of them that you can do uh, that i can do i mean but yeah so just wanted to point that out real quick now how to boost friendship actually i should have stayed there the friendship level is you see destina the top left she's 10 she's friendship level 10 uh, replaceable and the bar the circle around it the orange is uh, is complete is full so she's max level and uh, what you want to do is go through the list of your heroes and find the ones that are in like friendship level uh, she's four fallen Cecilia, she's four so go through your list Find like some uh, three-star heroes, some four, especially four. Start with the four-star heroes, uh, and of course five-star heroes that are lower friendship level heroes that you know you will not be using in PVE at all or not so much, because like if you use them in PVP, you will not be uh, boosting your friendship level. To how to get friendship experience is by bringing them into uh, PVE encounters. Uh, the fastest way is while you do adventures. And I'll tell you the, the fastest way to, to power level these friendship levels in a second. So, yeah, you go through your list, bring heroes that are like friendship level 1, 2. And like if you find one that is 2 and close to 3, you can bring it. That's, that's quick ways to uh, get a bunch of uh, friendship level 3 uh, done really fast. If you're in rush of getting covenant bookmarks, same thing. Bring them to, from 5 to 6 if you see some of your heroes in the list. But be mindful that if you don't power up a hero that you're using in like your, your hunts team, uh, because I mean they will reach friendship level 10 later down the line. Don't don't rush it. Just bring heroes that you won't really uh, bring in PVE. So yeah, you go through down your list. You see, maybe you have heroes that are like uh, friendship level 9, and you want to get that uh, friendship level 10, and you know that you just need one more, and you could get some quick covenant bookmarks that way. But yeah, you just go uh, through the list and that's it. Okay, so the way to actually do it, the fastest way to do it is you're going to go in adventure and not the uh, on recorded history, in just adventure. You go in stage 1-5 and this stage actually only costs 2 energy. And the beautiful thing is that it doesn't matter if you're doing a 2 energy stage, a uh, 8 energy stage, a 10 energy stage, a 15 uh, a 30 energy stage uh, from uh, in a side story event or something like that you're getting the same amount of friendship experience working toward your friendship level uh, no matter what so just do a two energy stage and this this stage you just teleport uh, you just you can auto uh, three packs my personal favorite is you zoom out you go in 2s leveling and it's leveling harbor that's my personal favorite because you go in there actually i'll just yeah i guess i can no you should always bring four heroes don't for like forget about your friend your friend you should always use a friend that gives you 10 friendship points by the way if you you're doing runs like this super fast you're gonna go through your list of friends really quickly and uh, you might be down to uh the five pointers right so what you could do is take a break or just do the five friendship points uh, use them but always bring a friend but it doesn't need to be on your actual team it's better that you bring like four uh, four heroes so let's say I don't know let, is, that, is that the team I want to go let's say this is my team right it's just like a bunch of heroes that uh, actually I don't want to bring Dizzy okay so it's heroes that you don't really use in PV that much, but that's not the case with, with these heroes, of course, but let's say that's the case. So the way you do it is you have this on auto first, and of course you don't want a healer. You want your fastest hero, you want it to be one that will one-shot these slimes, and you want to turn off your skills. That's the first one. I teleported there. Now I go to the uh, S4. You one-shot, like you don't bring a healer. Like Sol, he could be like the fastest one on the team and he would like one-shot the, the slime. 
And this is like an amazing place to get fodders at the same time. So yeah, I'm just spending time on that because uh, if you already knew, well, good. But if you didn't, well, I, I hope this was helpful to you guys. So that's how you do it. And you see like the friendship experience, like the hearts. Yeah, they are getting, everyone's getting a uh, friendship experience beside Bellona. She's already maxed out. And uh, we, we have one father here. On average, you're getting one per run for two energy. That's very, very good. The, uh, the pieces of equipment that drop, you can use that to feed into uh, actual gear that you want to enhance. You're going to get charms to it in here. But it's not to get gold. It's not to get experience that you run this place. You only get one EP as well. But for friendship points, and you can do your friendship summons as well. This place is really, really good. So that's some quick ways to get covenant bookmarks but not only that now if you want some more covenant bookmarks you can go in uh, the raid so in the labyrinth you go in your raid as macalis and uh, you go talk to the npc you uh, you walk south and uh, you can buy the queen azuma Shik's gift and you can get covenant bookmarks from there so there's that it costs uh, five um coronation souvenir wait no it's four coronation souvenir from what i remember okay another way is every day you need to do this you go in uh tyrell castle in chaos that's just the easiest stage to explain to you guys you go in zone one i don't have uh, any entry tickets but you go there you teleport south you you go on the mini map top left you open it and then you teleport uh the top uh did I say south? North. You teleport to the north one, and then you go uh, southwest, and then you will encounter the vagrant vendor, and this vendor can potentially sell you covenant bookmarks, a uh, bunch of like jewelry charm, charms, even callus. You need to check that every day. It refreshes every day, and that's a great way to get covenant bookmarks on top of everything else I, I told you guys already. So of course, you can obtain them as well from well side story you're gonna go in your side story that's i mean you guys know that you go and you exchange and you you buy them right you buy them these of course that you have to get them when there's a side story you have to get those uh, personally i always get the molagora i always get the uh, covenant bookmarks and i always get the artifact charms i'm a free to play player so i like to min max a lot and of course i get the epic callus but the normal callus actually i'm i don't need them like when you reach like uh late game you can get these callus from requesting in your guild you can you will just get them as you're doing adventure anyways and you can uh you'll be fine you'll be fine you don't even need to get anything else from here the value is not actually so great because uh it costs more energy 50 percent more energy than just doing uh, unrecorded history so remember that okay so i'm in my reputation when you do your daily you're getting one covenant bookmark from uh one of them i forgot which one it was but you do get one in there so uh maybe it's raised penguins in the forest of soul so you need to do your you need to do that every day your dailies that's that's bare uh, the bare minimum really I uh, fill the hero journal that's another way to obtain covenant bookmarks and uh, of course events events are always happening so you need to remember to check that every time every day you need to do that so currently it's the banshee chase so you go in there whatever event it may be there's a very high chance you're going to be able to get covenant bookmarks so in this particular one you see if I open, like if I press one of these uh, areas, like there's going to be, uh, when it's Requirem Roar, the one on the far right, when she shows up, I'm getting Covenant bookmarks. So, yeah, and you need to do that every day. Like it, it's really like you have to be consistent and just keep on doing uh, these things. Also, we've got the Epic Pass now. There's going to be multiple seasons and uh, you need to upgrade that even as a free to play player you need to i already did it but you need to pay that 900 sky stones because you're getting so much value out of uh, all of this man like there's so many things you're getting so you you, you see there's covenant bookmarks covenant bookmarks 
that was there and then of course there's that 30 here that's when you get the premium and if you don't get the premium you still have uh, another 10 here from the clear reward so that's another way to obtain covenant bookmarks and if well there's going to be more side stories and there's going to be probably like an epic pass there uh, the same sort of uh, thing and uh, actually it really depends i'm going to be doing videos whenever it happens but it might not be uh, worth it to uh, to buy it as a free-to-play player but the epic pass is definitely worth it there is just too much value and every season I'll, I'll update it and let you guys know what's up and of course there is the abyss as well i mean gold transmit stones uh, mystic metals like you go through all your stages and you're you're gonna find some covenant bookmarks uh, in the early 70s or was it just before that I remember Covenant bookmark, so that's another way. There it is. That's 50. That's a few of them. But yeah, if you want Covenant bookmarks quick, uh, you have... There's more here. You have the Sky Stones. You have the Gold. You can just refresh the Secret Shop. Now, we can actually get Mystic Medals from the Secret Shop. And I recommend that you actually do it when you reach the maximum account level. So you have like a better chance to... Uh, I'm pretty sure it has a better spawn rate when you your account is at max level or I mean you need to do the last uh, sh like uh, secret shop vendor upgrade and that's gonna be where you're gonna get the best value and uh, now you can actually get covenant bookmarks a set and a set of mystic medals at the same time in the same refresh because by the way you cannot get covenant bookmarks to show up at the same you cannot have two sets showing up on the same page it's it doesn't happen i've done so many refreshes and i've never seen any screenshot of more than one set at the same time and if it was possible by now i would have seen a like a, a screenshot because i mean it, we're almost at the one year anniversary for the game and so yeah just letting you guys know since we're talking about uh covenant bookmarks might as well talk about mystic metals as well of course the guild supply chest you can obtain mystic medals here. I mean, it's random what you're going to be obtaining. Get into a good guild that is active. Well, you have to be active uh, yourself and uh, preferably a guild that has a Discord server so you can actually communicate with your uh, guild members and uh, you can for attacking fortresses and stuff like that. But at least be in a guild that's active and that are doing their attacks in uh, Guild Wars so you're, you're winning them and you're getting a lot of mystic medals. And I mean... I know this video is about Covenant bookmarks, but Mystic Medals allow you to really like go for a specific hero that you want and later down the line you will eventually get a Moonlight natural 5 star hero when you go through, well, <laughs> 200 summons, but it will happen later on, it will happen. So there's that. And of course, all the friendship summons that you'll be able to do if you're farming those two energy stages and grinding that friendship experience, those friendship levels to get Covenant bookmarks at level 3, 6, and 10. That's going to be a, a big part of how uh, you're going to be obtaining your Covenant bookmarks as a free-to-play player. So remember that and grind them. Uh, like You don't have to go all out. You don't have to go crazy on that. But just like do a, like a few runs every day or something like that. Like try to incorporate that into your daily routine. But like I said, the Vagrant Vendor, you have to go and check him. You have to it, like try to log in every hour and just check the secret shop. That's going to account for a lot of your Covenant bookmarks that you'll obtain. Just make sure you have a, like 184,000 gold on, on hand all the time. Or at least like if you're in dire need of gold, you could always go in Hero Transmission and just sell some penguins. You know, you could just sell penguins for gold, like this. I always do it. And the three-star ones, uh, they give uh, silver transmit stone as well. I might not have... Oh, there it is. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good amount of gold. And uh, the exact amount... Yeah, that's the exact amount of gold plus the silver transmit stone. Always uh, useful to have. So... Yeah, just do that. And also, if you have stigma, if you really need gold, right? Um, maybe there's like an epic item in the secret shop that shows up and you really want to buy it. Use your stigma and just make some penguins here. Just build instant summon them for 120 stigma 
and just go and sell them but of course you need your building to be uh, three like three uh, it could be a three one zero but the thing is with this you have a 30% uh, chance to have a three-star phantasma and 25 a 27% chance to be a two-star so it's not gonna be really worth it if you're going in there with uh, like the odds the odds are too low you know because you can't even do a three star and the odds for two stars way too low but still uh, if you've been grinding your uh, friendship uh, points you could just go here you go in the shop and then you uh, you buy those friendship summons so you go in your shop you go under friendship and yeah here summon like 50 friendship uh, bookmarks you're gonna buy them with all the friendship points you're gonna be grinding especially from the two energy stages and yeah you maybe you have you're holding a lot of uh, these friendship uh, friendships uh, points and you can convert them into friendship bookmarks and then you can go and just mass summon them and then you will be getting penguins because they can actually like here's the odds right you got penguins at the end here yeah penguins there so that's another way to obtain some gold if you really need like if you're you don't have 184 thousand and you need to buy them from the secret shop of course there's always the login the check-in rewards so you'll be getting some uh, covenant bookmarks you know every month but the biggest thing of course is the gold transmit stones with uh, six you can buy five galaxy bookmarks and do a moonlight summon that is the yeah the, the most exciting part about these uh, check-in rewards but yeah you're still getting some covenant bookmarks here so of course the last few way to obtain covenant bookmarks is uh, sometime there might be sp some special events in the game and you might be getting them in your inbox uh, your mailbox and maybe there's some compensation for some errors the company did or maybe uh, an update that took too long and there was extended maintenances and stuff like that so other ways to obtain covenant bookmarks and finally of course every day you've got your daily free covenant summon so that's like a set of uh, five covenant bookmarks right there every day so be consistent do these things every day and uh, of course if you need gold as well if you're going and checking the vagrant vendor in the labyrinth well you might be needing gold so you might have you might not have it maybe there's some epic jewelry charms you want to buy so selling penguins uh, converting uh, stigma into uh, penguins and then selling them if you really need that gold for emergency uh, cases uh, there's always that so anyways that's it for this one guys uh, join my discord server the link is in the description and uh yeah thanks for watching i'm astronax like comment subscribe for more press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever i release a new video and check out my other videos they should be showing up on the screen now playlists of all sorts arena guild wars guides tips and all tools and abyss Royce 62 plus so check those out if you haven't and good luck with all you do in the game happy grinding and go go grind those uh, friendship levels because there's a lot of covenant bookmarks waiting for you there peace out